Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is it. Unless something goes wrong, last day. Last day of the corn, then we, we still got a lot of feed to go. Either way, we've got just a little bit left where we're at. We went and looked at our next field. It's kind of a mess because a lot of it we're not even chopping. And then it sounds like we're going to split. A neighbor's got a quarter circle I'm going to go knock out. Glenn's going to go mop up. He's got roughly a quarter circle left where he was at. We're done. Should be a short day. But now something's probably going to break because I said that. All right. Let's go get this done. Once again, Christmas trees. done there's only six loads left there it's 9 15 we're heading to field number two let's go see what we got in this one because i know there's a big chunk of it we're not cutting a bunch of trucks just showed up so come on you can almost taste it we're so close Lucky, lucky, on the move again. 11 o'clock. Field number two is done. We're heading to field number three. Oh, man. I'm liking this. Enjoying some nice hot chicken nuggets. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's freaking delicious. A little college football over here. CB beeping away at me because it's picking up static from everywhere. Guys. The end is in sight. We are on the move again. It's only 12:15. Field number three down and out. And with field number three being done, the big feedlot is done. Oh, that feels good to say. It's over 50,000 ton in there. 30 acres 30 more acres coming to a different local guy it's just his own crop going to him so 30 acres of corn that's all we got 30 acres Hopefully you can see that our, uh, I had to leave you on the on the rail there so I could hold my phone. But yeah, that 30 acres there finished it off. We have a little corner down at the bottom over there and then underneath the sprinkler. It was way too muddy. I had to pull a truck. I about got stuck and I said, you know what? Why don't we just wait till next week and those, what is that, load and a half? It'll be dry then. So that's what we did. Either way though, corn harvest is done. And this chopper is angry. We've got so many air codes going on right now. Either way, take the rest of this afternoon off. Tomorrow, give this thing a little TLC and get it ready. Because Monday the March on Feed starts. We'll see how long that takes. Ooh, you can imagine how good that black water smells. So, out of the chopper, we got some irrigation water turned on today. Man. So, well, you know, I'll do this once I get in the thing because I know the wind is going to be messing up the audio. Right now, I'm just starting up the sprinkler, flushing this filter. 
Let that run for about a minute. Then I'll explain what's going on. So here's what we got going. So while Glenn and I, a handful of our guys and all the custom trucks have just been pushing like crazy on silage, this last week things really got going here at the farm. Maddie, Bart, Hector, who else? Aaron was in a tractor for a couple of days, have been going like crazy, getting fields ripped, cults packed or VT'd and planted, getting wheat in the ground because irrigation water's here. This is why I love our cropping situation for the way our water is set up. Where we don't get a pick when we get our water and you never know how much water you're gonna get every year. Forge to me works really, really well in that situation. Because here it is, middle of September, what is today? The 18th of September. Most of our cropping is done. As you can see corn stubble there. This was feed. It's already been harvested. That field has been turned, planted to wheat. Now we're gonna get the wheat coming up. This field will get manured this winter, possibly planted to a spring crop, or we'll wait and plant corn. We'll see what we get. But it just, it gives us so many options on what we can do. We're constantly starting another crop. You know, take this farm for example. I've got two pivots here off that pond I was just at. The only established thing here is that hay field right across the road that looks all but dead. I put two inches of water on that the last time we had irrigation, which has been a month ago. I could put four inches on it right now and it still would not grow enough this fall to even bother with swathing and baling it. But I can put a little over an inch on this. That other sprinkler, that's feed I chopped two days ago. It's already been turned and planted. I'll fire that one up in the morning, let my pond get a little fuller. So I'm gonna have 80 acres of wheat growing by Tuesday night. It'll be wet, it'll be sprouted because it's supposed to be like 95 tomorrow. Mother Nature, figure this out. It's, it's the second half of September. It's not supposed to be this hot. But either way, that wheat will sprout, get started, get up. I'll have cover, hopefully. Hopefully, so we don't go through last winter's debacles. And have a crop already set and ready to go for next year. Then next spring, harvest that off and get something else in the ground. Just constantly, because unfortunately the way our water works where we have no choice in when we get it or how much we're going to get per year, I, I can't waste a run of water waiting on my corn if I was going for grain. Well, I can't be irrigating corn now because it needs to be drying down because you never know when you're going to get hit with a snowstorm. So corn is done. I got to have somewhere to put water on. I'd be irrigating that hay. I just forages to me makes so I'd love combining is my favorite thing. I love the couple years when silage was a bad market around here and we had a combine. That was my favorite thing to do is run the combine. It was also our least economical years because of the situations it put us in. And we had more water in those couple years than we knew what to do with. So this, this makes a lot of sense here. All right, I got another sprinkler to go turn on. And there we have it, another sprinkler up and running. Time for wheat 2022 to get going all right guys uh no chopping tomorrow sunday the 19th i'm gonna get my chopper all prepped and ready sounds like we're gonna fire back up full swing monday i have no idea how many acres of feed we got but we got a lot so one march is done the next march begins talk to you guys later